In this tutorial, we will start the ELK app from scratch and program in a system. First, I'm going to open up the app. It says we have no devices configured. That's true. We're going to select automation systems. Add a new system. You should have an elk system. I'll click that. Let's give it a meaningful name. I'm going to use our inside address, but you'll be using your outside address, your public IP address. If you're at home and you want to know what that is, you can go to ipchicken.com and it will tell you what your public IP address is and you'll enter this right here. For security purposes, I'm only going to use our inside address just as an example. The port number is going to be 2601, and that is the secure port, so we are going to oops, grab the screen here, and we're going to enter And we're going to click save. It's going to validate my settings. It says your new system is being cast. You can monitor this and it will let you know when it's done. So we'll click dismiss. You can see our progress. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll wait for this to be done. So I let that run for a while. Honestly, I let it run all night here in the office, uh, so I don't know how long that took, but I know it took longer than five minutes because I watched it for a while. Let's go back and I'll show you um, what that message is talking about. I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to go to status. And if you see this message cues down here, they should all be zeros. That means that what is in the alarm system and what are in your phone match. So here we are, we're back at the keypad. If I swipe without grabbing it, there we go. Um, we have what you're used to. Here's your way button, night, stay. Let's say that your IP address has changed, but you still have the app on your phone. I'll show you where to change that right now. We're going to go to the more button. And we're going to go to the config button. Automation systems. Your system. configuration details and here is where right here where you would change your IP address once this is once this has been set up for the first time and make sure to save I'm not going to save because this, this has already been there now should you have this all configured and it doesn't work there may be a few reasons for that uh, in that situation you should call the office and probably um, set up a service call or maybe we can find out what happened and, and we can fix it but one thing to keep in mind is that in order for this to reach your alarm system there has to be some rules set up in your router 
That means that if you change your router, then those settings are going to be gone and that this is not going to work like it used to. Just keep that in mind that, that those things are connected. And that's the end of this tutorial.